to a brand new video my name is Lana if you're new and if you are returning welcome back you guys today is Tuesday and let me tell you the first clip that y'all saw is snowing it started snowing this morning I was not aware I need to do a better job by checking my weather app because I was just unprepared <laughs> like I would have left in more than enough time and we just left at like the right amount of time so um the boys got to school just just on time i got london just just on time so but everybody made it but the roads suck here so um i had to drive like about 30 minutes from my house to drop them off and then i had to drive like 45 minutes or it was like 30 39 minutes but 39 minutes to my doctor's appointment so needless to say i am tired of driving but thankfully we made it safely to our doctor's appointment today i was telling you guys in the last um vlog where i had the third trimester like the glucose test i was telling you i have to go every two weeks now so um today is two appointments we do an ultrasound and then at like 1 30 i have my follow-up doctor's appointment from two weeks ago so I'm debating if I'm even gonna like what I'm gonna do in between time I might just go get some food depending on how the roads are hopefully it stops snowing while I'm in there I can't record in there unfortunately um, they have signs plastered everywhere like no recording no video chat and none of that stuff so I will follow the rules but once I get out of my appointment I will let you guys know how everything went I'm hungry I did not eat today so I need to give me some food. I'm so hungry. All right, I'll see you guys after appointment number one. I'll give you guys an update, and then maybe we can go and get some lunch. Okay, you guys, I am out of my appointment. It is 11.16, so less than an hour. Um, I was mostly in the waiting room until I think like 11 o'clock, so they was able to get me back. Once they got me back, um, it was quick, so they just, did a little ultrasound and then I had to do a what is that called a transvaginal um, ultrasound just to make sure the placenta and the um, cervix were you know good and where they should be so everything checked out great baby checked out good um, heartbeat brain function um, limbs and all of that stuff everything was great um, he is two pounds uh, so he has two pounds and nine ounces which um and if i didn't say i'm 28 weeks that so he is measuring right around where he should be which is perfect and then y'all know i gotta show y'all some pictures yes. i'm trying to see can y'all see uh, ah! <laughs> so cute can y'all see okay so cute and then what was that one then this one right here it is so cute ah! so yeah appointment went really good like I said I got another appointment at um 1 30 it is like I said 11 18 now so I'm debating what I want to do I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go grab some food and then come back and chill because it's still coming down let me show y'all it's still coming down it's still Can y'all see? Like, yeah, still coming down. The roads. Still a lot of snow. Snow cover. You see the cars that's been here for a while. And it's just like, I don't want to drive in this, so. Luckily, I always bring my laptop, my tablet, um, and a book to read. So, push come to shove. I'll just chill out in the car. And, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing because, Yeah. Mm, yeah I mean I only live 15 minutes away but it's just like just to go home and it'll probably take me a good like 30 minutes to get home and then 30 minutes to get back which is an hour so I might as well just go get some food and come back so that's what we're gonna do all right made up my mind that's what we're gonna do is come snack all right we got our food everything looks to be good my Chick-fil-A sauce is in here this time all right, so I got a question for you guys because normally I don't share like super personal stuff, like super, super personal stuff, but I feel like this kind of situation is more so like 
parent based and it it can happen and it happens a lot right okay so london has this group of friends that she's been cool with for a couple years now they all go to the same school and so they're in this text chat and i think i kind of talked about it one time before on one of the diabetes vlogs but we've been having issues where sometimes the girls will get into arguments and fights or whatever and they'll just start like dog in london like literally cussing her out like why is a nine and ten year old just like cussing like a full grown person okay so that's question number one the type of parent you are and it ain't no judgment if you do you do you know that's on you but i want to know like do you allow your kids let's say if they're eight and over do you allow your kids to cuss do you be like oh well they're gonna do it anyway so they might as well just do it like you have a problem with it for me my kids ain't cussing mm -mm. and that's just how i grew up like i was grew i grew up like you know i didn't grow up with my parents cussing or whatever and i typically I might slip up here or there, but typically for the most part in my day-to-day -day life, I don't just be out here cussing, you know what I'm saying? So that's not something that London sees from, from me, but I know everybody's different. Some parents, you know, they don't filter their mouth when they around the house or talking to their kids or whatever, and they cuss at them, they, you know, whatever. So I get, you know, that it's, you know, the environment that you're in, it is also the stuff that you're watching and what your parents allow. So I want to know from you guys, do you allow your kids to cuss? Do you cuss in front of your kids? All of that stuff. Let me know. But the way the, that these kids was cussing London out, I was just like, are you serious? So I don't know what they was fighting over, but they got into this argument and they was basically telling London, yeah, when I see you in school, I'm going to beat you up, right? So I basically reassured her, like, ain't nobody going to, you know, it's okay. You ain't going to get into no fight. Ain't nobody going to touch you. But also, I had to stand for her, like, you know, if a situation does happen to where they try to run up on you or, you know, they try to fight you, like, don't go looking for a fight, but at the same time, you got to defend yourself, okay? Don't just be, let them hit you and you not do anything. If they hit you first, hit back. That's what I told her. But like I said, I said, don't go looking for a fight. You know, I said, tell a teacher if you feel like they trying to mess with you or whatever, tell a teacher first and foremost. So she goes to school, she talks to the principal. Which I thought was, you know, okay, good job, you know, letting them know, like, you know, I feel some type of way, um, so all of that stuff. So I was like, okay, London, that was good. So then she tells her teacher, like, yeah, I don't really want to go to recess because the girls all day have been telling me that they're going to beat me up at recess and da 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 So the teacher was like, well, I'll be outside, so I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Um, I'll check in with you periodically. I'll keep my eyes on you and just give me a thumbs up if you're good. So at one point on the playground, London gave the teacher a thumbs up. And then I guess a, a little while later, they was like, yeah, come over here if you want to fight or whatever. And one thing about my daughter is she <laughs> she's not a punk okay she like oh oh you want to fight so she went over there so i told her that was that was the where you went wrong at you went over there you didn't have to go over there you could have just left it alone so she went over there and ended up getting into a fight so <laughs> she got suspended for one she got in school suspension for one day now like while i'm not like i was upset because the fact that she went over there i feel like everything else she handled pretty good right telling the teacher um you know all of that stuff but i told her i'm like where you went wrong was you went over there i told you don't go seeking no fight you going over there and you knowing what you was going over there for was you seeking a fight you didn't have to do that you could have just left it alone you could have played on the other side of the playground or whatever so um we had a long talk yesterday she's okay she wasn't hurt or anything but we had a long talk and just trying to like let her know like it is okay if people talk about you it's okay if you know people don't want to be your friends anymore because they so wishy-washy one day they'll be beefing the next day they'll be best friends so i'm like you know people that talk about you like that people that 
um you know all of that stuff those aren't your real friends so i'm trying to get her to understand that it's okay to have classmates that you associate with with your school but not everybody has to have access to you everybody doesn't have to be your best friend so that's what i'm trying to get her to realize because she's just like oh they're my best friends and she was so hurt and you know i get it because i was that age once and i have this one friend we used to get into it every other week over what i do not know but we used to get into it we never like fought fought but we used to get into petty little arguments so i get it but just trying to like teach her the values that i have versus some of these other girls like they wanted to be in a text message group called the baddies and i'm like y'all are nine and ten like what is going on and london don't know nothing about that so i had to tell her like london that's not that's that's not a good thing coming from you know coming from a christian perspective i'm like you don't want to be referred to as a baddie okay like no so just trying to like like i know she has to associate with certain people but also like keep a distance so what i did do is i blocked those girls from contacting her because for one you're not about to tell me you're gonna beat up my child and cuss her all the way out and then just expect that you can just have access to her 24 7 in school is one thing because i can't you know i can't do nothing about that but on her phone yeah that's a no-go so needless to say i just wanted to um ask like what are y'all thoughts on these kids nowadays what are y'all thoughts on um y'all kids cussing what are y'all thoughts on just the whole like these kids i feel like these kids are way too grown for what they the age that they are they're on tiktok they're on snapchat like what are you doing at 9 and 10 on tiktok and snapchat like she's mad at me because i won't let her have a tiktok or a snapchat but i'm like no because it's some crazy stuff that goes on and i need to be able to at least monitor some things like when you get a little bit older maybe 12 13 you can have that but for right now like if you want to do a tiktok you can go on my phone and i'll supervise you and do it so let me know what type of parenting style you have like i said no judgment here if y'all are like yeah you know let my kid cousin do what they do because they're gonna do it anyway you know i get it i understand but just let me know so i'm about to eat my food that was my little uh question of the day slash rant i had i was i was upset yesterday but i'm a little bit better now we talked about it yesterday and today so hopefully she goes to school and makes good choices and just is the leader that i want her to be and i know that she can be so yeah i know like this time is like a a rough time for kids especially girls when they're trying to fit in and all of this stuff so yeah y'all pray for me pray for her but she's okay but um yeah y'all yeah what's up you guys i am back home and i just showed y'all the basement we about to get this together like it's it's ridiculous like i was telling you guys earlier i want to have a space for the kids that they could come down here i have a like a tv that i can put down here and just have like some open space they got a like one of those riding cars for christmas and upstairs is too small to be able to ride that of course it's winter here and we can't go outside and do it so just like an open space but still like with toys and i'm gonna get like a couple chairs and stuff nothing like too fancy uh we do plan on refinishing the, refinishing the basement but that ain't in the budget right now so we're literally kind of just working with the space that we got so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and look for a rug i need a pretty big rug i was telling you about the tiktok rug but i'm like the kind of girl that if i'm doing something i want it right then and there like i want to go to the store pick it up and be able to come home and lay it down and it'd be like complete and i have to wait a week or so to get the product so Tomorrow, we probably will go to a couple stores and look for a rug. I'm going to measure out the space. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get to working. Um, and I will check in once I make a little bit of progress.
Alright you guys, so sorry it's a little bit dark, my um, camera light just died. But like I told you guys, I am done for the night, so this is the progress so far. So we got an area for the toys, then come down and play, TV, um, bounce house, car, all of that stuff. Um, so I moved all of the waters and I put them in the pantry, which I'll show you guys that in a minute. Some clothes and totes were over here. The kids clothes and totes are really like extended out. Um, but let me show you where I put those. So if you walk over here, we put all of the clothes and totes over here. Um, yeah, just so it's like out of the way in the corner. I think that's a good place for it. And so, yeah, this is pretty much the progress. I know it don't look like nothing, but I promise you guys, we've been working and it's it's getting there. It's getting there. Or let me show y'all the waters. So, I'm like, I wouldn't say a doomsday prepper or anything like that, but just to be prepared. So, we got water on deck. Um, I got... Uh, cases of water and bottles of water down here so that's why I put all of that stuff and then just my toilet paper and I actually cleaned out the pantry a couple days ago and so it's organized because it was like you couldn't even get in here alright I'm at this local store y'all and I found this rug right here this is what it looks like so it's black it's a 7 by 10 and it's only a hundred dollars so i think i'm gonna get this for the downstairs because i wanted something dark colored so this might be perfect so i think i'm gonna grab this um they did have a couple other ones this one looked like it might be a little bit bigger but i don't know and they had this one I think I like this one the best. All right, it's the next day, y'all. It's like 1.15. I'm in line to get Bella from school. Let me tell y'all, because I wasn't vlogging, or I wasn't vlogging like I should have been, but we had a productive day. So, I dropped London and Bella off at school this morning. After I dropped London off, I went to a couple stores because y'all know I'm looking for the rug for the basement. I told y'all the way my mind works, if I have something set in my head, I have to do it. So the rug was on my mind all night. I was looking on Facebook Marketplace. I found a couple, but I'm like, mm, I'm just going around shop, see what I can find. So I went to a couple stores. We have this store called Ollie's. It's like a bargain discount store. Um, and their rugs, they wanted like 159 for like an eight by 10, which I wanted either that size or a little bit bigger. So that wasn't bad, but I was like, I didn't see any like color options that I like. They had all those wonky, like old kind of patterns and stuff. So I was like, okay, let me go. Then I went to, where did I go? I went to Home Depot just to see their selection. They had some, but they were like out of the price range that I wanted to spend. I'm trying to do this on a budget. So theirs was like 243 for the big size that I wanted. I'm like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. So then after that, I was like, you know what? We have this, like, it's called half price or half off store. And it's just like a whole bunch of random miscellaneous stuff in the store. I'm talking about like lawnmowers, um, swimming pools, cribs, bed springs, just like any random thing you could think of, like the eyes and ends type of thing. But it's like open box stuff that they get from Amazon, you know, stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? Let me just check in there. Y'all, I went in there and I found me a black rug for $100. Now, it was a little bit smaller. It's a 7 by 10 But I'm like, you know what? For that price, I'm going to get it. Like, that was my price range. That's what I wanted to spend. And it was black. And I wanted, like, a dark color rug for the basement because them spilling stuff and getting all of that stuff. So, perfect. So, I picked that up. Then I went to a couple different thrift stores and I was able to find a black beanbag chair and I found a pink beanbag chair. Um, I found some saucer chairs on Facebook Marketplace that I also want to get. So I'm going to try to get that between tomorrow and this weekend. Y'all know how people on Facebook Marketplace, they be playing games. They want to respond and not respond. So, 
yeah we will do that but yeah it's coming along good like i said once i got the carpet once i get the carpet down there and they little chairs they could pretty much go down there and play um especially while i'm like working and organizing and stuff that will come in handy so everybody just come downstairs y'all do y'all thing i'm gonna do my thing that's gonna be what it is so i feel like i had a very productive morning i've been go go going i had to renew my tags for my car so i did that um and then i went to best buy because i needed another sd card i i don't know i had like three sd cards at one point i'm down to one so i'm like you know what with the content that i'm trying to do let me go ahead and buy another sd card so i had a ten dollar off coupon so i was like perfect time went to best buy got me an sd card and they were only like 25 dollars for a one well, i think it was like 164 yeah 100 what is this 164 gig? is that it or is it 162 128 okay i was off so 128 gig sd card was 25 dollars so um pick that up i was trying to look for like the 256s but they didn't have any so yeah y'all um got me some lunch i got me some firehouse sub i always get the i think it's the jerk chicken turkey with the pickle perfection so if y'all want to see this is what the sandwich looks like i will show you guys but i'm hungry i have not eaten all day so while i'm waiting on bella to get out and i'm first in line today like that never happens so this is the sandwich but i'm first in line so that should mean i should be able to grab her as soon as she comes out and be back at home so that is perfect um she's going over her grandma's house today so i have to go home give her a bath and then take her over her grandma's house then after that i'm coming home and we chilling i was thinking about going downstairs and doing some stuff to the basement but honestly i think today is just gonna be a no kid chill day um it's nothing wrong with that i will get to the basement this weekend i have plenty of time the basement ain't going nowhere so hmm. but yeah i've been I've had a super productive day. I feel really happy. Like I told you guys in um, in yesterday's clip, just being thankful. And I'm just like, okay, God, thank you for letting me find this rug. Thank you for letting me find these beanbag chairs. Like just the small little things that are making my heart happy right now. And I'm grateful for it. And I don't need, you know, the elaborate luxury stuff. I don't need all of that. I really don't. It's the little things that really make me happy. And so I'm just taking time to just be appreciative of the little things that I have and making it work with what I got, okay? Because the thing is, you know, we can always strive for more. But being happy where you are and with what you have right now, that's the main thing. Because how are you going to get blessed with more if you're not grateful for what you already have? Okay. I did not realize I did not realize how tired I was I straight up fell asleep in that part in that pickup line luckily I have an alarm set for like 2 15 just in case but I was knocked out <laughs> uh, getting up at 6 a.m. ain't no joke because midday I be ready to like I'm like listen I need a nap but just dropped Belle off at her grandma's house, got her showered and everything. And now, when, okay, let me know if I'm the only one that's like this. But whenever I get in the mood of like, okay, I'm going to stores or I'm searching for something and I find some stuff, it gets me excited, right? So I'm like, oh, I wonder what else I can find at other thrift stores. So I think, like I said, I think I went to two thrift stores today. And I was like, you know what? I got a thrift store right by my house that I have never been in. So today's the perfect day. Let's go up in here and hopefully we can find something, right? So we're at the other thrift store. Um, I'm gonna go in, like I said, I've never been in here, but we're gonna go in, see if we can find anything for the basement or just house period or whatever, I don't know. Um, I, it's not anything specifically I'm looking for. If I could find another beanbag chair, that'd be cool. But like I said, I'm going to get some off of Facebook Marketplace, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so we're about to go to another uh, thrift store. I'll take you guys in there with me. 
and then we're gonna be back home okay that's it that's it for the day and i need to edit a video that's like the only other thing that i need to do today so we're gonna get that checked off the list but uh yeah let's go in here and see what we can find and we'll be back the bump is bumping today um <laughs> let me show you i'm home let me show you guys what i got like i said i wasn't looking for nothing specific but they did have a good selection of like the girls like london size clothes so like 14 16 they had a lot of selection really good pajamas um and like jeans and stuff so i'm gonna go back once i kind of do an inventory i know she needs some more jeans but like once i get an inventory of exactly what because i was just browsing just to browse but i did see a couple things that i knew she would like so i picked up these pajama pants and she likes prints like these if y'all could well yes yeah, like the animal print um like a teal color if it's coming up on camera because my lights are bright and then i picked her up another like animal print but this is a onesie with the hood so it's super cute like the pattern is cute and it just i don't know it's just cute i figure she likes onesies like this to just lounge around the house in and stuff so i said oh yeah this is super girly she would like it the onesie was 680 and the pants were 380 so spent about i think it was like 13 or 14 dollars um yeah so that's all i got i did look they did have this table it was this white like kids table with the chairs and everything i didn't see how much it was i might go back with chris because i was like i'm not going to even be able to like carry this or whatever so i might go back with chris um in a couple days if it's still there but i was like that would be cute to put down there so they have like a little you know coloring table or whatever so i don't know if we're gonna just turn this into like a kid's space but right now they got to get out of my living room because my living room is constantly a mess so if they could just go downstairs and play down there all day that would be good and it'll save me probably a lot a lot of cleaning so um we are back home it is 4 45 and um uh, y'all pretty much that is gonna be my day um chris is on his way back he's getting us some Chinese food so once he gets home he's gonna take a shower and then we're gonna eat watch netflix and chill out for the rest of the night um i just <laughs> I deserve it I'm tired so I'm about to I've been putting off editing this video so I'm gonna edit the video I should be able to finish by the time he gets out the shower and I'm just chilling for the rest of the night I'm off I'm not doing nothing so this will probably well I'll probably show you out the food and that'll probably be the end of the video but um yeah so let me go ahead and get to editing even though I don't want to do it, we're going to do the thing that we don't want to do. Right, guys? Yes. All 2024, do the thing that we don't want to do. So, let's go ahead and get this knocked out. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Mm -hmm. 